What have I made? What have I done? What are you? What are you? What are these? What are those? What is this? What is anything? Well, seeing as though this experiment has failed, we can move on to another one. I call it the teleportation chamber. It is through this room that I go, instead of that one. Worth great, Mr. Clone. Through this door I go. Now, Clone, come with me. And guess what? We'll go wherever, wherever this teleportation takes us. Okay? Let's go. Teleportation device worked! There's a lot of continuity errors. Well, since we're here, let's just give some facts. What? Hey, is it just me or did we switch glasses? Oh. Anyway, there's a lot of different things here in the desert. There's abiotic components and biotic components. Living. I'm living. And non living. <laughs> Which rolls a <in> desert. <laughs> Biotic factors are the same, which is not the same. Oh. Oh, the snake actually has an interesting relationship with the mouse, aka a predator prey relationship. This relationship is that the snake eats the mouse. Um, also, the, the population starts to fluctuate. The snake is very dangerous to humans, though. Highly poisonous. So, if you ever get bit by one, go to the hospital immediately. You may start gagging. You, uh, your arteries may explode. My arteries! So, if you ever see a snake, just basically just run up. Snake! Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, dude, they're gonna die. Steven, 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 you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. It'll all be okay. See, get up. Get up, Steven. <laughs> there you go, Steven. Good job, Steven. Get up, Josh. Come on, Josh. You can do it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, okay, you're you're all good. An example of a body factor is rocks and dirt. Because you know, they're not living. In the desert, the abiotic factors are a little bit different. While there may be rocks, there's also sand. And there's a Steven. <laughs> Oh man, I hope there's something to eat in my uh, beautiful little refrigerator here. Oh man, dude, look, we, we got we got we got an artichoke right there. We got an apple. Oh, oh, let's see what's on the other side. Oh, we got pizza. Oh, there's nothing in here to eat. Ah, oh, I'm sad now. See, oh, what is that thing? Oh my God, what is you that? You know, bi abiotic components are, you know, they're boring. But what isn't boring? Biotic relationships. Some of these relationships are the predator-prey relationship. We've already learned about the snake and the mouse. There's also the tarantula hawk and the tarantula, and the coyote and the pocket mouse. Another uh, relationship is the mutualistic relationship. This is where both benefit. This can be shown in the rabbit and berry bush. The third relationship is the commensalism relationship. This can be shown when moss goes, grows on trees. The moss grows on the tree and helps grow, you know, but the tree doesn't really care. To recap, the predator-prey relationship is where the predator eats the prey. The mutualistic relationship is where both sides benefit, and the commensalism relationship is where one side benefits and the other side doesn't really care. Thank you for watching Nil by the Science Guy. Desert is a fun place. To look at with your face, with many located around the world, the amount of them is absurd. There is many animals that'll make you run. It's a lot of fun under the sun, with many life forms under the sand. The desert is a thriving land.